day But at least I'm enjoying the ride At least I'm enjoying the ride Yeah! And now more Operation Freedom, Freedom with your host, Dr. Dave Janda, on Southeast Michigan's conservative powerhouse, Wham! Talk 1600. Call Dave now at 822 1600. That's 734 822 1600. Welcome back to Operation Freedom, folks. I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Wham! Talk 1600. We broadcast live from our Freedom Bunker here in the Moscow on the Huron River every Sunday from 3 to 5 Eastern. I am very, very proud and very, and very happy to have back with us someone who, the minute he gets off air, I have folks emailing me, faxing me, calling me, saying, you got to have Lindsay back on right away. Because the information he give, gives and provides, we're not getting from any other source. I am very fortunate to have back with us Chaplain Lindsay Williams, who is the author of six books, two of which became bestsellers. He has been a Baptist minister for the past 55 years. Lindsay was invited to be the chaplain to the global elite of the world for three years during the construction of the Trans-Alaska Oil Pipeline. Because of his position as chaplain, he was offered executive status with Alaska Pipeline Service Company in an advisory capacity and sat on the board in meetings with the elite. The Trans-Alaska Oil Pipeline was the biggest and most expensive project ever undertaken by private enterprise in the history of the world. $12 billion was spent in three years to build a four-foot diameter, 800-mile-long pipeline across Alaska from America's oil field on the Arctic Ocean. Direct quote from Pastor Williams in, through his books and materials, quote, Before my experience on the pipeline, if someone had asked me if I believe there is a group of people on the face of the earth who control the world, I would have laughed and said to them, Who are you, a John Bircher? After my experience of living with the elite, if someone had asked me, Do you believe there is a group of people who tell the President of the United States what to do, dictate to Congress what bills to pass, tell the Arabs and OPEC what the price of a barrel of oil will be on a given day, and control the currencies of the world, I would have said, Not only do I believe it, I sat and listened to them talk about it. End quote. Lindsay, welcome back to Operation Freedom. What a privilege it is to be with you today, Dr. Janda. Thank you for allowing me to be back on your show. You know, just after the last election, I had people all over the country, you know, because of being on so many shows and 37 years of being rubbing shoulders with the elite, people called me after the election and said, Catherine, we don't know what to do. Businessmen were saying, should we shut our business down? Should we continue our business? Should we build uh, or, or, or should we stop? They they were literally at their wit's end, and I knew there was one person that could give them an answer, and so I did. I called up my elite friend, and I said, would you please tell me what we can expect over the next four years now that this man is elected again as president? Dave, the information that I received was so startling. Uh, I don't know how to say it except to say that it's probably the most startling thing I've ever heard. Uh, I, I was so dumbfounded. I was over a number of, say, maybe three or four days, I was given by my elite friend some information by way of email, and they, the, every American will be facing ten agendas over the next four years' time. It's already planned. It's already been decided behind closed doors. And I was, I was so startled when I got this information. I said, I have to tell the American people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cover as many of those as I can today in the few minutes that we have. But after I got this information, I said, okay, here's what I'll do. I went in studio, and before the cameras, it took me three hours and 29 minutes just to explain the information that I had received. Now, not all of it is doom and gloom. This can literally save your dinner table. Mm -hmm. And all of you out there who are business people, doctors, lawyers, I, it matters not what profession you may be in, this can literally be one of the greatest blessings that you could ever imagine if you will take this to heart and, and, and take advantage of the opportunities you've got before you. So let me give them to you one at a time. I hope you have pencils and paper handy. And the very first one, I'm going to really stick my neck out. I mean, I'm going to make a prediction here based on what I am hearing from my elite friend that 
could really, uh, well, okay, here we go. If the elite have their way, they do not want a financial collapse in the world for at least two years' time. Uh, folks, I hope you caught that. Now, I know nearly every one of my newsletter friends are out there saying, oh, it's going to happen next month. It's going to happen the next two months. Uh, we're going to have a dollar collapse. The, the, uh, the bond market is going to collapse. Stock market, no. If the elite have their way, they do not want a financial collapse. Now, this is worldwide, whether it be the euro, the American dollar, the Chinese currency, the Japanese currency, matters not. They do not want a financial collapse for two, maybe three years. Don't bet on four. Why? This is what's so startling. And the reason that they don't want the financial collapse is because they, the elite, the New World Order, the Reserve, however you'd like to put it, call them anything you wish, they are going to create over the next two to three, maybe up into the fourth year, they are going to create forced debt creation mm -hmm. such as this world has never experienced before, ever, in the history of mankind being on the face of the earth. They're going to make the world look like Greece, aren't they, Lindsay? Yes, <laughs> the entire world. Mm -hmm. And this physical cliff thing, I had to laugh. I could not believe the smoke screens that I was seeing there. Mm -hmm. They were talking about taxing the rich. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a joke. The rich, they are, the super rich, I know them. I lived with them for three years. I've kept in touch with them for 37 years. And, and pick up the phone and call one of them today if I wanted to. They already have their wealth mm -hmm. stashed away in the Caymans and Liechtenstein and the mm -hmm. Isle of Man and the Turks and Caicos. They, they, they aren't going to hurt them at all. You know why the fiscal cliff fiasco? It was for one purpose and one person purpose only. The middle class of America is literally going to be taxed into oblivion. Mm -hmm. Folks, I hope you are getting what's happening right here. Now, you're going to face this April the 15th. Uh, up until now, you probably don't even realize it because you haven't gone to your tax auditor yet or all the people who fill out your tax for you. You're going to be hit with an alternative minimum tax. Every, nearly every middle-class American family is going to be paying two to $3,000. You, you're going to be utterly amazed at what's going to happen. You just heard what this Obamacare tax is going to be mm -hmm. as of the first day of next year. It is going to be horrendous. You know, no matter where you turn, the middle class of Americans are going to be taxed into oblivion. This is a part of forced, I hope you're catching the words, forced debt creation. Now, I'm going to have to hurry through uh, so I can get as much of this in as I possibly can. I want to give you right now a devaluation formula. Now, please, this can literally save your business, uh, especially if you're a small business owner. And your household, it will spare your dinner table. I want to give you an actual formula so that you can figure this for yourself right there in your, in your own home and you calculate it. First of all, now this is a devaluation formula, devaluation of the American dollar. How much purchasing power is it losing every month? Mm -hmm. First of all, put down 3%. Back on September the 13th of 2012, when Mr. Bernanke announced that the Federal Reserve was going to pull out of thin air $40 billion every month and buy mortgage-backed securities, the American dollar began that month of devaluing by 3% right off the top. You can't throw $40 billion out of thin air into the marketplace without it devaluing, and now we've found out what that devaluation was. It's 3%. Now, it now put down the taxes out of the uh, fiscal cliff thing came immediately that very week a 2% payroll tax. Mm -hmm. Out of that is going to come your alternative minimum tax. Mm -hmm. No no matter where you look, Obamacare tax. Now, I want you to put down approximately, oh, maybe 2 to 3% for the new taxes that you got out there. Your payroll tax that very first week after the fiscal cliff was 2%. Then the Obamacare tax, oh, my goodness, this past week you heard the uh, IRS announce that it's going to be $20,000 per family. I don't know how in the world they'll possibly get by with that. But you've got to figure, according to what you make, what percentage that Obamacare tax is going to be for you the first of next year. Then you've gone to the grocery store lately. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you noticed where grocery prices are going. 
put mm-hmm. down what you think per month the price of groceries is going up, and you put that down. Then put down inflation. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's a known figure. The federal government even now uh, admits to this. You've got an inflation of probably 7 to 9% per year, so you've got to put down a half to three-quarters of a percent. Now, add all of those up. That is how much your paycheck every week, the dollar value is diminishing in purchasing power. Mm-hmm. Now, tell me, how long will it be with that devaluation every month How long will it be that you can still put food on the table, clothes on the back of the family, put gasoline in the gas tank to get to work, and still pay the house mortgage at the same time? No, you you can figure it for yourself. All this is figured out. The elite have already determined this. Behind closed doors, they know where they're going. This is the reason they've given me this for my own personal family, and I am trying my best to help, help every American I can. Now, put all these down. Now, when it gets to the point that the family says, wait a minute, <clears throat> we couldn't buy enough food this week because your paycheck's got, not going around. What is it that you are going to stop doing first out of those items I mentioned a moment ago? Yes. Same thing that millions of Americans are doing. They don't pay the house mortgage. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, that's the first place to start. You have to put clothes on the back, food on the table, gasoline in the gas tank, but you don't have to make that house mortgage. Uh, well, what are they going to do? Who owns your mortgage now? Remember, the Federal Reserve began buying $40 billion worth of house mortgages, church mortgages, <laughs> shopping center mortgages. Mm-hmm. They began it in September, and they've done it every single month. Now, who owns that mortgage that you got with maybe Bank of America or Chase or uh, or Wells Fargo or Fannie or Freddie? But you got a mortgage with somebody. Now, who owns it now? No. That lending institution doesn't own it anymore. Mm-mm. It's now owned by the Federal Reserve. And who is going to repossess your house when you cannot make that house payment? Yeah, go by two or three months, they'll step in and say, oh, we're not going to give you anything for it, but we'll be glad to uh, repossess your house and rent it back to you and your family for the rest of your life. People, are you getting the message the name of the game, I've been saying it since I lived with these people 37 years ago, the name of the game is control. Mm -hmm. The new world Mm -hmm. order, people so often ask me, they say, Chaplain, why would the new world order, why would the elite of the world destroy America like you uh, are telling these things that they're doing? People, the elite are not destroying America. Please, understand they do not want riots. You remember when that Wall Street protest group started, and everybody said, oh, it's going to sweep all over the country, and it didn't. And I said, no, it's not going to. Uh, why? They don't, want, uh, they, they don't want revolution. They don't want people in the streets uh, tearing up everything. The elite want to bring in the new world order according to their own dictates and plans, and they'll take your house. And then they'll rent it back to you. They are more than happy to give you a new currency someday. Whenever the dollar devaluates to the point that you can't go to the grocery store and buy groceries with it now, oh, they'll say, well, why don't you just give up your Constitution? And uh, we'll have a whole new world order here for you. The new world order is taking over America. Mm -hmm. They are not destroying America. That is not their plans at all. And these people... Uh, so that you out there in the business world will understand, uh, these people are not communist. The New World Order people, they, they are not Muslim. They are free enterprise capitalists who have made their fortunes in the banking world, and now they are bringing under control the United States of America. Now, what uh, I said that there were ten agendas. I'll give you just one or two very quickly. Number one, the dollar is going to be phased out. Now, some of you have heard me state in the past that the dollar would be dead by the end of 2012. It is. It's already dead. The average American just hasn't awakened to the fact that when the BRICS group met on April the 5th of 2012, that was Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa composing 43% of the world's population and 18% of the world's GDP, and they said, we're not going to use the American dollar any longer. We are going to use only the Chinese currency in sale and trade amongst ourselves. And then on December the 1st of 2012 in Phnom Penh in Asia, 
our president went over there, and it was the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. And when our president got there, they said, you get back on your airplane and go straight back home. We don't even want you. Listen to who these people were that were meeting. This is, this is 15 Asian nations. It is one half of the world's population. It included China, India, Japan, South Korea, Australia, New Zealand, and 15 Asian nations. And at that economic partnership, they said, we are not going to use the American dollar as a reserve currency of the world any longer mm -hmm. or as the petrol dollar of the world any longer. We're going to use the Chinese currency. Now, you put that together along with the BRICS group, which composed 43% of the world's population, and this meeting in Phnom Penh in December of uh, 50% of the world's population. People, do you realize the trillions and trillions of American dollars that are floating around out there right now mm -hmm. in the world, not used, not wanted? And do you know how long it's going to take them to return back to the United States of America? Eight months to a year, you are going to see one of the most catastrophic events taking place you can possibly imagine when the Federal Reserve gets these funds back no longer wanted, used, they're using the Chinese currency, please. The American dollar's already dead. And I, think you're, I, still and I think you're absolutely right, Lindsay. In fact, you see reports now, China importing huge amounts of gold and silver to back their currency for when they become the new reserve currency rather than the United States dollar. You're right. You're absolutely right, Lindsay, that, that the, the, what's left of the dollar is a mirage. It's a mirage right now, folks. And you called it. it, it yeah, it, it's coming to an end. Now, now, please keep in mind whom I contacted. When these business friends of mine and others said, Lindsay, please, we're our wits end. We don't know what to do just after the election. I made a phone call to my elite friend. He's retired from Atlantic Richfield. He still knows everything that goes on behind closed doors. He's in his 70s, and he said, Lindsay, you and everybody in America will face 10 agendas in the next four years. Now, I didn't say all at once. No. This isn't going to happen tomorrow morning. This is something that will take place over a four-year period, and the world is rebelling. Mm -hmm. uh, many out there know it. You heard it last week. I received an emergency bulletin. It started in Japan, and Japan said, no, America, you can't do this any longer. Quantitative easing, don't you dare try it. The same day, China stepped in. Now, you might have caught this on some of the, uh, you didn't catch it on the national news, but you caught it on some of the financial news, and, and then China stepped in. Mm -hmm. And, and is the BPOC Deputy General, Mr. Y. Gang, he warned about currency wars. Now, folks, I told you on, I believe, on one of Dr. Jandra's programs before, what is the sign of the collapse? You can know it three to six months in advance because they're going to use the derivative market to do it. Mm -hmm. And three signs in the derivative market, currency wars, trade wars, and the final sign will be when the Federal Reserve raises interest rates. And it started with the this past week in a major, major way with the currency wars when both Taiwan, Thailand, South Korea, Mr. Yang warned that China is fed up, they've had enough. Oh, you must read his statement. It is so startling, it's almost beyond words. I'm going to read you. If everything is going to be quantitative easing, which currency will depreciate? This was exactly what the head of the foreign exchange regulator, Mr. Y. Chang of China, said. It was a warning to America. You, we don't have a Federal Reserve. We can't do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You can't continue this in America. If you do... Okay, what's going to happen? Uh, Ch uh, Japan will say, all right, uh, yeah, we, we want to adjust our currency. China will say, okay, we'll adjust our currency from 0 0.05 to 0 0.010. Mm -hmm. Now, when Walmart and Target goes back to buy that product <laughs> again next month after you buy it from them, they've got to replace it. What is the price they're going to replace it with? The new value of the Chinese currency mm -hmm. or the Japanese currency. Mm -hmm. And when you go back to Walmart, you're going to be paying 25 to 50 percent more because of the trade wars and the currency wars that are going on out there, which the end result of them will be a destruction of the American dollar. Okay, let me give you some more of these very, very quickly if I can. There's something going on out there you need to know about. 
there is the old-fashioned elite, whom I knew years ago and still keep in touch with some today. Secondly, you've got a second faction. You've got a president who is out of control. Yes, I've been talking with the elite personally about this. In his first administration, he double-crossed the elite. I am amazed he even got back in. But now that he's there, he's in trouble. He double-crossed them because he wouldn't let the Keystone Pipeline go through. He then put through the Dobbs-Frank bill, which the elite didn't want. Mm -hmm. Then he wouldn't open up federal lands for the drilling of oil. And, oh, it enraged the elite. Now, you have a conflict here because this president is like a bull in a china shop. Secondly, you've got a renegade elite that has developed in the world that the elite is trying to figure out how to handle them. You know know who's going to get caught in between this war, between these three factions? The middle class of America. Yep. People, you need to know what you're getting involved in. Oh, I wish I had time. To, oh, I, I got to cover gold prices. I heard you mention a moment ago, Jay. If in 2008, gold was $800 an ounce. Now it's approximately 1700 1650 mm-hmm. By 2016, it's going to be $3,000 an ounce. Folks, you must let your pastor see the section in my new DVD series in the next four years. And when I finished it up with three hours and 29 minutes telling you everything the, and information I'd been given, I couldn't release it. I couldn't do it. Remember, I'd been a pastor for 12 years of one church and a missionary in the last many years. I couldn't release it. I, my heart went out so much to the people. I got two of the most prominent financial people in America, a former Wall Street insider. I said, would you go in studio with me, and we're going to produce a DVD of nothing but solutions. I want a solution for the millionaire, the middle class, the uh, down and outer, or the street person. It matters not. I said, we have got to give solutions. We went back in studio and did two hours and 50 minutes of nothing. No, no, nothing but solutions. No doom and gloom. For every person, a solution. We have six and a half hours that we just released two weeks ago. Uh, Please, take down a phone number, if you will. Our toll-free number is 1-888-799-6111. Or you can go on the web after the program today to prophecyclub.com. P-R-O-P-H-E-C-Y-C-L-U-B. Dot com or 888-799-6111. And there's a section in there about the Devil's Messiah program of the elite, which this is that code word for what they're going to do to the churches of America. I plead with you to give this DVD to your pastor and warn them as to what the program is, Dave. Lindsay, I'd like to thank you for everything that you've done, for the information that you provide for folks. Folks, I have uh, gone to Lindsay's website. I do. I have reviewed his videos. They are very, very helpful. I encourage you to go to the site and give them a call. Folks, until next week, dream big and dare to fail. This is Dave Janda signing off from our Freedom Bunker here at Wham Talk 1600. We're here every Sunday from 3 to 5 Eastern. Dream big and dare to fail. It is up to you to take on this scum of the global elite.